All right, we're going to talk about Doom quick because a member of the Doom team, specifically the team over at Panic Button, did, was part of an interview over at Games Radar and decided to say some things about Doom on Switch. And it's really interesting. So the person that spoke up was Panic Button's Adam Creighton. And here's what he had to say about Doom on Switch. First off, it's been hard, wicked hard, and he's referencing the ability to uh, get the game to run on Switch. But I would expect it to be. This is a title that is so frenetic and action-packed and gameplay pure that getting it to work correctly on the hardware is really important to us. And we spend a lot of time trying to make sure it measures up from the lens of does it feel like Doom? As a gamer, I like the hardware. A lot, a lot, a lot. As a developer, I'm grateful to be bringing games people don't expect to the hardware. And when they're announced, people say, what? And then, oh, that makes total sense. This might sound defensive, but I'm bummed. Some gamers focus on frame rate or resolution and don't focus on, is it fun? Or does gameplay feel good? I know we're working hard to bring quality games to the hardware for which we develop, to make them enjoyable on the TV, to make them enjoyable on the go. I'm proud of my team. We're working hard, we're not cutting corners, and we're not leaving anything on the table. So this is important, I think, because we criticize uh, game developers and publishers a lot. Uh, I've done it, you've done it, we've all done it. Uh, for either things that we consider to be lazy, which again, I've talked in the past how I do not like that term, or just how how we perceive uh, their approach to games to be wrong, whether it's the 30 FPS in NBA 2K18 or the lack of using Frostbite in FIFA 18. Those are two things that I've obviously been critical of. We have to sit back and consider some things here. It, it, what, the, what Adam says here is very important. The team behind Panic Button passionately, passionately cares about making Doom run right on Switch. When third-party games come to Switch, there's going to be sacrifices made. I've talked about this in the past. When you have a game that is designed for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and then you port it to Switch, it's not going to run like it's on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. It's not going to be 1080p. It's not going to be 60 FPS. It's just not going to happen. A vast majority of third-party games, besides games like Rocket League, that come to Switch are going to be 30 FPS and sub 1080p, and in some cases, sub 720p. Doom uses a dynamic resolution scaler it used it on playstation 4 and it used it on xbox one as well it's a thing that it uses on all versions of the game so of course it's used on switch which means switch version is going to dip below 720p sometimes because it needs to the question that he poses is something i think that's ultimately really important i've pointed this out in the past with some media members that have played doom and full disclosure i have not played doom so this isn't coming from me uh, he's, he poses, you know, is the game fun? Does the gameplay feel good? Everyone that I know, all the YouTubers, all the media members out there, when they have talked about their impressions of Doom after that media event that they held at Bethesda, the runaway feeling from all the people that went hands-on was that it feels like Doom. These are people that have played the original Doom. They said when they played it on Switch, it felt like Doom. Let, let's let's just dissect that for a moment. For all the fans that complain it's 30 FPS, it's sub 720p at times, the question isn't what's the frame rate and what's the resolution. The question is, does the game feel like the intended game is supposed to feel like? And I know there are purists out there, or maybe not even purists, there are just uh, people that love 60 FPS or above. I'm one of those people. I'm going to be honest with you right now. I'm a 60 FPS kind of guy. I prefer my games at 60 FPS. When I made that video uh, ages ago at this point, it feels ages ago, about how 80% of the Switch library was at 60 FPS, that's because of how much I think that matters. I think 60, 60 FPS is a very key thing that just needs to happen as a standard for console games. And we're getting there. It's getting better. There are more 60 FPS games today than there were five years ago. But 
I, you have to understand what is happening when you bring games like Doom to Switch. I don't care what the frame rate is or what the resolution is. More than I care about how fun the game is and how much the game feels like a real version of the game. Um, it often gets confused when I criticize things like 60 FPS or 30 FPS or resolution or this and that. And that you guys do too probably get confused by it. In terms of placing an emphasis on FPS and resolution over how good the game actually is. And I think we can all agree that gameplay matters most. Gameplay matters even more than resolution, and I know 60 FPS versus 30 FPS, 60 FPS provides a better gameplay experience. We all know that. But when you play this game on Switch, and this has happened with me with NBA 2K18, I prefer NBA 2K18 on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and PC because it runs at 60 FPS. I, th that's it. I, I prefer it on those platforms because of that. But I play it more on Switch. And the more I play it on Switch, the less and less the fact that it runs at 30 FPS has mattered to me. You adjust. You get used to it. And by today, after sinking 40 plus hours or so into NBA 2K18 on Switch, I'm not bothered by the frame rate anymore. I have adjusted. And part of this is because I obviously am not playing it on the other platforms anymore, so I'm not seeing it at 60 FPS anymore. But the other part of it is the game's playable at 30 FPS. It would it be better at 60? Sure, but it's playable. We're talking about a full AAA NBA 2K18 game that is playable on Switch in a way that is enjoyable. And that's what we got to talk about here with Doom. Is Doom on Switch better than Doom on any other platform? No, it's factually not. It is factually the worst version of Doom from 2016. That's no doubt. The question isn't, is the Switch version the best one there is? The question is, is the Switch version good enough to be fun? And from what we've heard from media members, it's a resounding yes. It feels like Doom. It's the blood and guts. It's the ripping people's heads off. It's the, all the fighting. It's everything you want Doom to be on Switch. So sure, its performance metrics are not up to par. What really matters, and, and this is something that I, I do think matters if we're going to talk about performance, is that the performance is stable. The dynamic resolution is a given. That, that's becoming a very common thing in the industry, especially with PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox One X. Dynamic resolution is just a thing that we're going to be having to deal with, and I don't mind it because it makes the game look at higher resolution at times than it can. I mean, would you rather the game just be 540p all the time? Of course not. So obviously at times it's going to be higher resolution, and that's fine. I think sometimes we have to cut some developers some slack. A lot of times we say that they are lazy, that they are not doing their best, that they're making bad decisions. And sometimes you, you could argue that criticism is true. But in this case, Panic Button with Doom and Panic Button with Rocket League and any other future games they end up porting, I'm sure they're working on the port of Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. They care. They care about making the best possible experience of these games that were built for more powerful platforms on Switch, tailoring the game to Switch. So if that means sub-720p at times, if that means... 30 fps versus 60 the question isn't does it suck that that's what the switch runs it at the question is despite running at that is it still a really good game to play the, the resounding answer with doom from media members so far is yes the resounding answer for me with my experience with nba 2k18 is yes for all my criticism of nba 2k18 post-launch spending more time with it now they released a big patch and they fixed a lot of the issues Yes, NBA 2K18 is worth playing if you love NBA games, especially if you want to take it on the go. That's the thing. I don't expect on the go to have the exact same Doom I have playing on my 4K-capable PC at home. It's just not a thing. I have realistic expectations of what it means to have AAA games on Switch, and I think that if fans keep treating companies this way, they're going to leave the Switch platform, especially if these reactions from fans causes the games not to sell well. They're just going to stop making games for Switch. And even if you're not interested in Doom, I've heard some people, or I've read some people in our comment section on videos that have said, I'm not buying Doom because it's 30 FPS. That's fine. That's, that's a completely valid reason to not buy Doom. If you want Doom at 60 FPS, there are multiple ways to play Doom at 60 FPS. But there's going to be plenty of people that will not play Doom or have played Doom and 
want it in a portable form that are going to get it on Switch that are not going to be bothered by the fact it's 30 FPS or that it drops below 720p. I think at times we're too reactionary. And I think this is just another case of being reactionary without going hands-on. Now, I'm not going to say you cannot be critical of something without going hands-on. Of course you can. You are free to still criticize the fact it's 30 FPS and drops below 720p. You can say that. You can be critical of it, and you can just not buy the game. But you can't go and tell people that think it still looks great. I've, I've seen tons of footage. I think Doom looks great on Switch. I'm going to pick up Doom on Switch. I'm telling you right now, I'm buying Doom day one. It's happening. It's happening. There's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you tell me about the frame rate or the resolution is going to make me not want to buy this game. Because you know what? I've never played Doom. Not this version. I played an old school version back in the 90s on PC. I've never played Doom 2016. I It, it just got lost in the crowd of games last year. So I'm going to get it on Switch. And the primary reason, and the primary reason I want all third-party games on Switch, even more so than on my PC, is because I can take it with me. That's an advantage I'm willing to make sacrifices for. Maybe you're not, and that's fine. Maybe Switch isn't even the platform for you if you care that much about performance. Or maybe with the Switch, you're just going to buy the Nintendo games that run at 60 FPS. But here's what I know. I'm buying Doom in November. Nothing any of you guys say can change my mind. I am siding with Adam from Panic Button on this. Hate me all you want, but I don't take it back. Now, that doesn't mean there can't be anything that can make me not buy it. Obviously, reviews can come out, and we might find out that it's broken. Or it doesn't have a stable FPS. Like, the, the FPS dips down to, like, the teens. Okay. But that's not what we've been told so far. We've been told it is very much Doom. It feels like Doom. That's enough. We already know what this game is good from last year. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Dance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content, and I will catch you in the next one.